Hello, this is going to be the monthly reading January 2024 for Pisces. For all the Pisces people. So let's what we see on the collective. What are we getting for all the Pisces people? And what do we need to know for the month of Jan? Think, uh, come to the edge. And fork in the road, yin. We've got divine feminine again. Think, uh, fork in the road and come to the edge. Think a fork in the road and come to the edge. Now what I'm getting for the Pisces people on the month in Jan regarding this energy is like um, don't overthink things too much in the month of Jan. There is some sort of choice and decision that you need to make that is going to be important. But it's also asking you Pisces to basically take a leap of faith in the other direction of your life. Now let's quickly see what else do we need to know for the Pisces peoples for the month of Jan, internal flame. Okay, this is a lot, but the gateway, emergence and the moon tree. Virgo got this as well, the moon tree and emergence, I remember. What is sparking this eternal flame within you? What do you feel happy about? What do you feel passionate about? The gateway. That's the fork in the road. Coming to the edge. What is stopping you from coming to the edge? Taking a leap of faith. Emergence and moon tree is basically saying to me, Pisces, you are emerging. You are like emerging as a new person. You are having new thoughts. You are having new contemplations. You are planning new things. There's something within you as a person that's causing you this desire to feel passionate. It can be in love relationships, family, home, career. It depends. But there's some sort of eternal flame within you. And it's asking you not to overthink the whole situation. It's asking you to get out there and take a leap of faith on a person, place or situation. So to see with the spirit messages, what do we need to know for the Pisces people? Gratitude. So with the word, I'm going to read this card for you. Gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. You see, that, that is the thing is where the, yeah, the thinking process, thinker, overthinking contemplation. Um, if you overthink a situation, um, you already talk yourself out of it. And it's asking you to have this blessed, gratitude, kind, generous approach. Because... With people in our life and soul contracts, it's like a, you know, exchange of energy, giving and receiving. There's some sort of gateway that is asking you to come to the edge. Where do you feel uncertain and unsure to come to the edge? Um, take a leap of faith. What are you scared? You see, you don't have to be scared. Nine of emotion. It's nine of, nine of cups. Abundance. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to have fear, Pisces. Ten of emotion. Happy home, happy family. Yeah. Nine of thought. Overthinking and contemplating again. Nine of swords. So, manifest your dreams. Uh, with the Pluto and Aquarius transit up until 2044, it has been said that Pisces people are going to have, you know, more dreams. Um, Pisces people might become more spiritually in tune. That's not already in tune. And it's saying here uh, something within you is like an eternal flame. And it's manifesting your dreams. 
you are ready to go. There is no need for additional preparation. Take this. Take the leap of faith. Come to the edge. Um, don't overthink things because we've got blessings and abundance with the nine of cups and nine of emotion. This is like a magical time in your life when your wishes are granted and dreams are coming true. And we've got dreams again. Um, your sleep state. You can create this. Ten of emotions. Life is blessings. Life is blessing you with a wonderful loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured. Stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts towards positive. There's no need to worry anticipating the worst. Now, with a gratitude outcome, it's going to help you a lot. It's going to assist you to overcome this fork in the road. What is this fork in the road? Equal give and take. Gratitude again. Charity. Let's have to see what the light seers tarot. What do we need to know? Quite, yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You are a loving, caring, nurturing, kind person. You are stable within yourself. You are balanced within yourself. You see things from an abundant perspective. Yeah. Page of Wands and Nine of Swords. We've got Nine of Swords twice. Overthinking, contemplation. It's asking you to get out there, manifest, create your dreams. I mean, we've got, yeah, you know, we've got the divine feminine, and we've got serendipity as well. So there's a possibility that you might meet your equal as well in the month of Jan, but I would rather say give it the year eternal flame. What is making you feel happy inside? Spark that flame. What is making you feel desire? It's asking you to get out of your own way with emergence. Quick rapid information going out, meeting people, searching for new job opportunities, meeting new friends. Yes, the moon tree, the moon is basically the Pisces card, Pisces and Cancer. But with the moon tree, it's, it's cycles, yes. It's also some sort of hidden information, but it's positive. It's intuition. It is dream state. It is gut feelings. Um, but the thing is, it's showing you with the moon tree, you are grounded. You are grounded with your roots in the earth, with the queen of pentacles. So, emerge from yourself. Have this new serendipitous new life. Try something new. Create this internal, internal, eternal balance for yourself in your home, family, career. There's a gateway. Something is opening up for you. It can be regarding friends, family, home or career or love. There's a gateway. But with the fork in the road... It's asking you not to overthink, contemplate. Um, I'm not saying making impulsive decisions, but what I'm saying is that, to be honest and blunt, don't stand in your own way. Because this is blessings and abundance. Then of emotion. A new beginning, new opportunities with the fool. So, and this is having like a type of, with the five of coins, it's having a scarcity type of mindset. And I don't want you to have that. Because the thing is now, it's, it's telling you to try. Take a leap of faith in some area of your life. Something that is giving you this internal happiness, this passion, this flame. 
Now, I mean, in each Pisces person, it's going to be different. But what sparks this flame inside of you? I hope I've made sense. Please let me know in the comments about this emergence of the new Pisces person. What is this eternal flame that keeps on burning within you? Let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Happy, happy 24. Bye.